Hello and welcome to Scholar Coaching. If you'd also like to participate, follow the link below and access the replay inbox. In there, go ahead and drop your replay file, ball chasing link, or YouTube video of you playing your preferred game mode and measure your competitive rank or six man's rank if possible. If any of this doesn't make any sense to you while watching the video, feel free to follow up on my Scholar School of Learning series in my video playlist. We go over all the basic ideas and general rotations that are talked about in these replay analysis. Thank you and I hope the man, you enjoy. The myth, the concept. Takes a cheat, grabs side boost, okay. Geo tries to force, gets the fake, nice shot. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they had a guy in front of net. Honestly, if he didn't come up with a shot, I'm okay with that. It's not a big deal. Side boost. Turns in slow. Fake again. All right. One thing I recommend here on this line is identify that side boost is there. Really important. All right, so you fake. You turn. Ball came off here just to double check. Right? And then by default, because it's not there, I would turn away on diamond so you can come in more direct from behind in case that 50 goes more dangerous. Like if it pops off. Like if this guy gets a really strong pinching thing that goes bop, bop. Or goes high and like this, you're able to turn in and be or turn in and be effective, right? Or more comfortable, however you want to call it. Um, and when it comes down to it, um, and you're also because you're low boost, you're more ahead of the play, right? So that way, if this if they somehow get a, a pop down and then they take that shot where you're awkward here, and you're trying to turn back and get in front of it, you're already ahead of it, so you turn away and you just let them shoot and you get that save every time, right? Just a little aggressive here, but not overall too bad. You turned in slow at least. You're trying to control that field. You get a good read here and fake, get it back to the side. It's not too dangerous the way it was played, but I could definitely see that turning into a really bad situation. Touch the side. You kind of just bang it. That's fine. You, I mean, I couldn't hear them coming in on you, but it's just better to guess that they are. On average, try to get that hit lower though, so it rolls up the wall next time. It can be a lot more, a lot safer in general. Um, rather than popping off into mid like that. Uh, 12, wait. 50 through... Damn, what a good dunk on Geo there. That was really strong on him. Um, try to start by... Start with a so soft line here, coming out to this 12. Or actually, this isn't too bad. Shit, you know, honestly, line's not too bad, man. This guy had a really good dunk. He even looks like he's recovering. Honestly, that's... Yo, Geo's just better. I'm not gonna even... I'm not even gonna chip at you on that one, man. You did... That was actually a really decent read that you made. You identified that he was kind of awkward. You put yourself in a good position to counterattack. He just had a clutched up fucking dunk. That was fucking nuts on Gio. That's actually just great. Yeah, I know. Flag of That's kind of weird. It might have been server for part of it. 12. Full boost? Turn off that ball cam for that boost, right? Much like I was talking about the side boost, right? I, I mean, you don't have to identify it's here this time, but turn it off so you can guarantee it, right? It, then you're more effective in being a part of the play. He has the chip, you fake, you chip to the side. Nice, huge. Up. Great breakthrough. Get your corner boost, nice. Okay, if you're gonna use your boost here to get this momentum up, demo somebody. If you're not gonna, if you don't wanna demo somebody, then you can take your time here because they're not shooting this or breaking through right now. So it's better just to go slow. Wait for Sombrel. Sombrel's awkward, so come out and then turn in if you want to or continue facing out just a little bit longer. So you can come in out here and let Gio have the ball. But the main thing is, I would like you to get demo right here. You're already aggressive. You just built up your speed with this with this boost usage, right? You have some momentum. Ball cam off and just turn to Geo. Kill him. Boom. Done. He's dead. This guy drops it. Now you get kind of pre-turn aggressive. And Geo, like, this is just a free goal. He's going to spawn on either side. Like, you're basically good. That's just a free ball. So now you have to worry about faking or shadowing that. You just get the free opportunity. Either way, you come up the wall here. Chip. Go for your setup. Fake to 50. Nice. Okay. What a dunk! Damn! That's so unfortunate. Dude, they're fucking out here getting these massive dunks. Holy shit. I don't even know if you can even bump the guy to get him out of the way. That's unfortunate, man. Really unfortunate. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy how I like insta sprung into that. Dude, what is this server? I, I thought he was blocking that. Like, I swear to God, I thought he was blocking that. Good flick. Good job getting your possession. Good play choice. Come out wide a little bit. Grab your 12s, okay. Turn in the face. He hits the ball. You get the free. Chip, nice. Try to center it. Ooh. All right, let's watch your double jump area here. This is, this is possible. 12. Bah. You didn't even double jump. Wait, did you double jump at the end? You tried to flip? Bro, just double jump. Just do a double jump aerial instead. Um, I don't I don't know what your double jump aerial looks like, so I'm not going to comment too much on the mechanic of it. But 
if you uh, feel like you wouldn't be able to reach that double jump barrel either way, uh, watch one of my videos about it. Um, or not one of my videos, but there, I have a, I have a clip about it um, on my Twitch about, uh, or not really about it. I actually haven't done a video about it. I should do a video about double jump barrels. I should do a video about mechanics in general. Anyway, um, but more or less, uh, the most recent uh, diamond replay analysis that was before this one has a, uh, it's like diamond maybe. I don't know. He didn't tell me the rank, so I just assumed he was diamond range. Um, I, did, I did a whole excerpt on double jump burials in that um, and, and talked about it and brought up the controller and showed how to do it. I also have a clip on my, on my Twitch uh, with the proper usage in, in an efficient form that you can watch as well. Uh, it's like titled 38 boost double jump burial. What the fuck are they doing? Why are they giving you so much freebie here? Good job punishing them. What? Why aren't they engaging you there? You basically played it fine if they engaged you too. Like you weren't over committing or pre-jumping too much. Like you're kind of hopping around a little uselessly, but like you're just trying to force them to throw it over you so your teammate gets a free one. That's so weird. Why'd they give that to you? Damn! Alright, good job being available for the shadow. He tries to flick, you respace. He gets a weird pop there, but Sombrel's there. Ball cam off here and identify the opponent, and then, like, if Sombrel doesn't pass to you in the first or two second hit, right? So there's one. I mean, it, well, sorry, sorry. First or second hit. So first type hit was a setting hit, right? Boom, setting hit. Second hit. If that's not a pass to you, slow down. Ball cam off, identify the second man, right? You can go for a boost here if you want as well. I mean, a demo here. If you demo him as well, that could be really strong. I'd be fine with that. But if he's not passing you, go behind him, chill out, and just, you know, reposition, right? Now you can start a rotation again, or you could be, you know, available cutting in or jumping on that if you want to. There's a range of things you could be doing, of course. Uh, but slow down overall, right? The pass didn't come to you. There's, if you don't go for the demo, just slow down, right? You can come, come across this hit, bounce, over, up, counterattack, duck, you know, dust this kid. Um, or reposition, and you get here anyway, right? You can reposition, get here anytime you want. You fake and go out because you couldn't beat it. That's fine. Bad touch over to the side here. You identify the guy midfield a little bit. That's a little hard to see. You could bulk him. So, in this situation here, when you're coming back, you could bulk him off right here because you know he's already given up the shot basically. So you could bulk him off, flick over, identify Geo's kind of aggressive, re bulk him on. And just do your best to jump and get that force, or like make a play to get into the corner. Because then he hit to the corner right now would be pretty safe overall. It used less boost as well. Good job recovering that though to drop it for your teammate at least. Damn, he missed the dunk. Good job neutral lining. Okay, let's watch this double jump burial. I mean, you're mostly just trying to adjust to dunk it. Ugh. Okay. The safer player, I don't really disagree with what you did overall. Because, uh, like, they pop it. Your teammate has a good chance to dunk this, it looks like. So stay neutral, not pre-turning out is fine. But if you did want to play safer, I would recommend slowing down here and just stopping. And then turning it a little bit on Mav here. So when he chips it, you're up. And you counterattack it here. Just clear this out, right? Guaranteed here. Or reposition now, up the wall, backward, and then get this from the backward and clear that out to the other corner. Um... Waiting for that pass could end up being really difficult. You either got a position to either counterattack it on the chip, or you got to reposition so you can get the, get it on the block of the backboard. You can't get the backboard for a double tap. It's going to be really impossible. It's gonna, not impossible, but really tough to save. What are you using your flip there? Good try. Damn, a little aggressive. You come out to side boost. Try to what your team is doing. He bails out to the wide. You cut first. You fake to force to the corner. Nice, that's fine. Teammate comes in. He gets the breakthrough. Demo, 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 demo. Okay, you can't reach him. It's fine. Great shot on your teammate. Chip. Damn, bad read on that. You also don't have to rush that too much. Um, they're giving you a lot of space, going up high for that, and, build, and uh, getting a big solo play happening. They're already covering net and ready for you to do that. It's almost better for you to fake, try to bait them out, then go for it. Um, so rushing that chip and that, that pinch in the wall to get it up the wall so you can do your solo play, honestly, probably not the best thing to do. Um, you're doing pretty good being relatively wide here. Um, you're just turning in a little soft. So you're going, you're going straight out to casual to in, rather than just straight out to straight in, right? And just making one sharp turn that makes your overall engagement. And that sharp turn will keep you a little bit wider, making this turn a lot better for this left side of the field. Right? Allow you to go up and then shoot that overall, right? Um, it's because that it turns into a wide turn when you do it in stages like that rather than a short turn. That's a really awkward catch. Turn back in, 12, covering net, chip it in the corner. 
Good defense. Uh, a little bit of a panic flick. Get your side boost. Teammate has. Chip. Stay straight out. You come out to mid. Gives the flick. Good job not diving that. Kind of no point. If you if they're shooting it, you might want to 50 it. But in the same way, your teammate had a really bad pass lineup for you to be that wide. I wouldn't recommend being that wide a second there. And in the same way, you can also just stay as defense. Because you have the... Or defense. Because you have the... Um, you have the goal advantage there, and your teammate's pass opportunity just wasn't very high. This is a pretty bad pass, again, um, overall, for how wide you're turning here. It's just too short. But if you just stayed neutral on this one on Diamond here, up, oh, that's a shot on net, right? If you keep your seconds closer, I think you can reach a lot more of these passes on average. Uh, but the main thing overall is that you're kind of putting yourself mid, and you have to turn in the last second to get it. Makes it really awkward. Good 50. Nice clutch. 12, chip. Cool.